Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. And today, oh, wow. okay, I need to quit my quit my safari now. Okay, so hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make an NPC walk to Pacific area in Roblox Studio, but the updated version. Um, I m remember I made a tutorial on how to make an NPC walk to Pacific area in Roblox Studio. Um. It's the old version, and I want to make a new version, and, um, it's, yeah, so, so I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna start now, so, uh, so, first of all, you're gonna want to open up your dummy, or whatever NPC you want, that you have, uh, open up the script in the handler, then you're gonna want to insert script, Set of your dummy, make sure an NPC, and make a part that ends. So I already made a place of NPC. I made this place where we make our dummy walk to the Pacific area. So now let's go and double click the handler. Um, and now we're gonna start scripting. Uh, let's actually name it to move NPC. So now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to do script dot parent dot humanoid like we did it in the last time, but then we're gonna want to do colon move to. Now you're gonna want to do the the parts position. So you're gonna do game dot workspace dot part dot position. So the scripts parent humanoid we're gonna the the humanoid and we're gonna move we're gonna move the character to the part okay um i hope i i hope you understand um if you wanna if you wanna i think i don't i if you learn how to script on a scripting tutorial you probably would know what this means okay so so this is the script to move it. Um, so in the last video, we um, did it so that it walks to a position in a Victor 3 value. But if you move the part, then you'll have to paste the um, exact same position again. So that kind of will get annoying. So yeah, that's why I'm, this is that's why I'm, this is why I'm making this tutorial. Um, uh, because why would I make this tutorial for no reason? Um, just to be cool? No. Okay, so um, now I'm going to be showing you how to make it jump. So the, how to make the player jump over a obstacle. So we're going to scale this. Make sure it's thin enough, thin enough so the player can actually um, jump over it. So we're going to want to color this red. And make sure you name it kill brick. Now you're gonna want to insert a script, um, and then script dot parent dot touched, and we're connecting it. Um, let's actually do. Uh, you can also do functions. You can do function and then on touched, and then you can do hit, or you can also do script dot parent dot touched connect function and then hit so if hit dot parent um if hit and hit dot parent and hit dot parent hit dot parent come find the first child and we're getting the humanoid and we're putting then and then you're gonna you don't really have to put then guys you just have to do this and then it auto fills it okay so now what you're gonna want to do is hit dot parent and we're sending the humanoid health to zero that's what we're basically doing so which is going to be kill the character um you can also do hit up here and call break joints, which is a faster way to do it. So now that's the end of our script. Click close. 
and make sure if you're spot if you're using a function then you use the script up parent use the script up parent dot touch the next function and then um, the fun your function like on touch uh, so yeah make sure you do that if you're do using a function um, to do all this code right here so uh, to do all this code right here okay so now you're gonna want to make sure you you duplicate this kill brick and this, this is going to be our jump trigger um, so you're gonna want to name it jump trigger so um okay so this is going to be our jump trigger oh i made a mistake delete that script delete that script out of the kill brick i made a mistake there uh don't don't worry that mistake actually you can keep that that you can keep that script you can command z that sorry uh, there um so now you're gonna want to scale this and now you can make a jump trigger so um which we don't want the players uh, to die so um, it's only for the NPC so make sure you don't insert a script make sure you delete the script if you have it and the jump trigger only if you duplicated it so make sure you duplicate the scripts make sure it's can collide false so now inside of your dummy insert a script so now you're gonna want to do name this to humanoid script so now what you're going to want to do is um, um, you're going to want to do local h is equal to script.parent.humanoid. So we're just getting the humanoid quicker so we can access it quicker instead of saying script.parent.humanoid. Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, h.touched. So um yeah so then connect function and then hit and we're checking to see if the hits name is um jump trigger uh, if the hits name is jump trigger uh if the hits name if hits dot name is the jump trigger trigger then then we're set, then we're going to do um h dot jump is equal to true so yeah now we're gonna want to close off the script and then it should work so hit play or run i don't really recommend play um we not be able to yeah okay we're not gonna really be able to see it so let's hit run and now you can see boom you have c you can see that it um, works and it moves to this part so yeah this is pretty much how you do it so it jumps over this kill brick pretty easily and if we hit play here it doesn't make us jump instead of so yeah um so yeah you can see that it doesn't make us jump because we're an actual player um, but this guy is an NPC, so it will it will it will ignore players, but but it will uh, not un ignore the NPC. So that's pretty much the tutorial on how to make it jump. Um, you can also make uh, like jump trigger two. If you have more jump triggers, um, then duplicate that, and then you can have jump trigger two. So you for example, we can do hit. Um, so you can copy this entire line and then you can just do, paste this in and then you can do jump trigger two and then you can set it to true. So yeah, that's how you make more jump triggers. So um, for example, I'm actually gonna show you. So if you duplicate this, I, I'm gonna show you just real quick. So if we du duplicate this and I put it here, I actually need to move this part here. Um, and also remember guys that we already, it's, if we move the part, we don't have to set the position again. So, um, now you're going to want to name this to jump trigger two, for example, and then this will be jump trigger one. 
And then you're going to want to go into the humanoid script, and that would be jump trigger one, and that would be jump trigger two. And that will still work. So we hit play run, and it will still, ign still ignore players. And boom, and boom. That's how you make it uh, jump over uh, obstacles and make it updated version with uh, moving to the game's part position. Um, if you're still confused with the coding, then I uh, then I um, that I recommend that you go online and search up tutorials how to how to script on Roblox so you you know how to script on Roblox completely. So um, yeah, that's the tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, you can also name this to ending part. So you you can name this to ending part if you want to. You can actually name it ending part if you want to instead of part. So let's name it ending part. You can leave now, guys. So that's the end of the tutorial. And we'll see you guys next one. Peace.